And now, sports with KJ Doyle. Good evening, welcome in to News Channel 10 Sports. Another Hoops Madness night. Basketball just never stops this time of year. Arguably the biggest game of the night, a two-way showdown at Cap Rock High School. Number 14 ranked Farwell taking on the number 20 ranked Wellington Lady Rockets. Carly Wilbur taking advantage. Beautiful drive offhand finish. Wellington up 5-4. to four. Farwell answers in a hurry. Kennedy Ritchie gets it up top. She takes the one dribble pull up and knocks it down off the glass. All tied up at six. Lady Blue going for the corner three. It's off, but it's Gilbreth again in position with the putback tied up at 10. A minute 30 left in the first. Aubrey Jones with the post moves here. She kisses it off the glass to give the Lady Rockets two more, but Farwell pulls away in a big way. Richie dishes to Makaili Baldwin for the layup, and Farwell captures the area round win in the ranked battle 59 to 44. The ninth ranked Groover girls taking on Floyd Data tonight following the Lady Wins thrilling victory over Vega in the first round. In the first quarter, Kimber Whitehead gets the steal and takes it all the way to the bucket. She had 17 points in this one. Groover went on a big run to bring the lead to double digits. Floyd Data would try to fight back with the three ball. Caitlin Ramirez knocks down the triple. And then Zay Santos coming off a 30 point performance in the playoff opener. She nails the triple, but Groover was just too much in this one. Ali Sparks knocks it away for the steal. Groover up the court in a hurry. Brianna Butler. Beautiful drive and kick to Hannon Langford for the corner three. Langford also 17 points in this one. Her and Whitehead led the way. Groover gets the win in this one, 62-40. McLean and Happy faced off tonight out at West Plains. These two split the regular season series. Happy won the first matchup by 10, and McLean took the next one in the game that came down to the wire. This one would be no different. First quarter, Lady Tigers up by five. Happy on the fast break after the turnover. They get it down the court and find Breeley Dempsey for the bucket later. McLean looking to answer quickly. It's Cassidy Russell going coast to coast to widen the gap. Lady Tigers heating up now, but the game was back and forth all night long. A nail biter. Caitlin Hutchinson's pass is tipped. Mal Mally Reynolds finds it, and Reynolds absorbs the contact and puts it in, plus the foul. McLean wins a thriller at West Plains. They take the 33-30 victory. Another ranked powerhouse in town tonight, the seventh-ranked Nazareth Swiftettes going up against Silverton, and Nazareth showed why they've earned that ranking. Presley Wheeler was feeling it early. She keeps the toes behind the line and nails the three ball, and Wheeler would come right back down and do it again, this time in the corner. Great ball movement from Nazareth. They're up big early, and they would just keep pouring it on from beyond the arc. Harley Gerber gets it in the corner this time and knocks down the tray. Nazareth rides a 17-1 start to a 59-26 victory over Silverton. Let's take a look at some of the other scores from around the Panhandle girls basketball playoffs. Randall gets an easy win. Pampa falls to Riverside. Bushland moving on. Valley taking down Will Dorado. And Stratford wins a thriller in overtime against Sudan, 49-48.